the sheep and goats sounds like something that might take place at a livestock show. The Son of Man is the, the livestock judge, and we are the animals. I don't know much about livestock judging, but it seems like an art form as much as a science. It's a very subjective thing, but there are guidelines. One article I read about this said that the process of judging cattle involves analyzing the animal's feet and legs, hock, rump, and shoulders to determine its structural correctness. The animal's volume is determined by the width and the depth and length of its body. The style and balance of the animal are judged based on the top line, the uniformity of value, the smoothness and the angles of the front of the animal, and the blending of the shoulders, ribs, and hips. Sounds easy, right? <laughs> as far as I know, livestock shows are never mentioned in the Bible, but there is no doubt that people had a great amount of knowledge about domestic animals, particularly sheep. In Israel, shepherding was a very common occupation. It plays an oversized role in the biblical story, from Moses and David, who were both shepherds, to the Lord is my shepherd, of Psalm 23 to Ezekiel's vision of God as a shepherd who gathers his scattered sheep from Babylonian exile to Jesus, the good shepherd, who becomes the sacrificial lamb. To refer to someone or a group of people as sheep is derogatory these days, but biblically speaking, we are all God's sheep. The biblical writers utilized images with which they were most familiar. And there were a lot of sheep and shepherds running around, grazing in green pastures and chilling beside still waters. The Israelites were sheep experts. The art of livestock judging came naturally for these people. Because of that, people judging sheep became an image for God judging people in the biblical literature. With that in mind, Jesus offers a parable about the Son of Man judging people much like a rancher today judges or analyzes the quality of his or her sheep. It is a parable about the so-called day of judgment, a time when Jesus imagines we will all be judged according to a standard that has nothing to do with body parts, style, or balance. Just for a second, let's reimagine the parable of the sheep and goats. A small rancher is trying to make a decent living in this gig economy. We all know that gigs are part-time or temporary jobs. One of his favorite gigs is as a livestock judge. The annual stock show has come to town, so he drives to the venue, parks his car, and walks to the large building where the stock show, show is taking place. He has been selected to be a judge because of his experience and expertise. He quickly finds his judge's chair, surrounded by his competent assistants, and announces that he is ready. He has prepared for a very difficult and long day. He has some guidelines to help him judge the livestock, but he knows that sometimes the differences 
are so subtle, it takes an extremely keen eye to see them. On this particular day, however, he notices that there are two species of domestic animals brought before him, sheep and goats. He asks the stock show officials, what does this mean? They tell him that all he needs to do is separate the sheep from the goats. With a confused look on his face, he judges the animals and then he goes home, telling his wife that he just got paid for the easiest gig of his life. It's not that difficult separating sheep from goats. Likewise, judging people is the easiest gig in, job, in God's job description. It's not as subjective, as subjective as we might think. It's not an art form. It's not a guessing game. It's as easy as distinguishing black from white. According to God's guidelines for judging, the sheep are the people who feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, welcome the stranger, clothe the naked, take care of the sick, and visit those in prison. The goats are the ones who do not. The parable is both terrifying but yet reassuring. It is terrifying to those who do not meet the guidelines, yet reassuring to those who do. We tend to think that God judges us based on our faith or on our beliefs. But this parable takes a different approach. Here, Jesus suggests that God judges us based on what we do, specifically how we treat the least of these, the neediest, the most vulnerable people in our midst. This is terrifying because I certainly don't spend all my time doing those things. I will never be a grand champion in God's stock show. Because of that, this parable does concern me. On the other hand, the parable is reassuring because at least now we know what is expected of us. And isn't that the goal of this parable anyway, to let us know what God expects from us? So, even if we don't take this parable literally, let's take it seriously. Allow it to help us hit our reset button as we ask ourselves what the judge of the universe is looking for. I'm pretty sure it has very little to do with body parts, style, 